Entrances, Representative Post. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm used to my audience being killed before me, so I'm going to just continue on with the few people that are here. This booklet came to me from a wonderful lady in Newburgh, who I don't know her age now, but this booklet was printed by the Salem Schools in 1961, and it's called My America, What America Means to Me. They had school kids, first through sixth grade, write little essays about what America meant to them, and it was the coolest thing. First of all, then Governor Mark Hatfield wrote the uh, foreword on it. The then school superintendent, who uh, was Charles D. Schmidt, wrote what America meant to him. This was Salem Public Schools, printed this in 1961. But I just wanted to read, give you an idea where kids were in 1961. I found this just absolutely wonderful. Baker School, second graders, they said, America means happy people. We have many schools, churches, jobs, and we have good things like cars. I mean, uh, second graders, what do you know? Brush College, fifth and sixth graders said, America is to me a place where all people are equal. It is a place where we can worship God in our own way. At Clear Lake School, grades one and two together said, America is beautiful. We have plenty of food. We have good schools. We have many churches. Grade six said, many people come to America because they have the right to follow any religion they like and they can go to church, any church they like. At Hall's Ferry School, which I don't even think is around anymore, Grades one, two, and three said, I love America because I think God loves America too. Grade six said, yes, I am an American, proud of my beautiful country, happy for my flag, family, and friends, glad for the right to have an education, thankful to God for the right to be free. Yes, I am an American. I mean, it just goes on and on. It's beautiful. Hayesville School, Hazel Green School, Lake Labish School, and I had to read one last one here. Grade three at Middle Grove School, they said, I love America because we can go to the church we want. We have nice schools, we have nice homes, we have good food. America is the best place in the world. That, that's school children in a public school in 1961. I have no point to make other than, wow, that's amazing. The, a lot of the people in this room, this was probably your generation. This would be kids in 1961 that are now probably around 62 to 63 years old, 57 to 63 years old. That's us for the most part. Well, except for maybe Represent Vile. But outside of that, this is us. So I just thought you would enjoy that. And if anybody wants to take a look at it, it's in my office, and I'm looking to get more copies of it. It's really neat what America means to me, school children of 1961. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.